Warning! This video contains my opinions. You have been warned. So, 2015. 2015 was a time of celebration for Thomas. It was a time of hope and fun. We, 2015, I remember the Adventure Begins trailer was on the official Thomas and Friends YouTube channel. And I remember... I remember I didn't think much of it. Like, I thought I was excited, don't get me wrong. I just didn't know it was a Railway Series movie. I thought it was an original movie was just a recreation of Thomas and the Breakdown Train. That's what I thought based on the trailer, but it was epic. It was one, It's my favorite Thomas special. We also got Sodor's Legend of Lost Treasure that year, which is my second favorite Thomas special. And I'm sure a lot of people would say the same, if not similar things, about those two specials. We got some great wooden railway items, like Introducing James, um, Thomas Engine Gift Pack, and we got some Soda's Legend of Lost Treasure models, like Bert, Mike, Ryan, and Skiff. And, of course, we got our limited edition for that year, Colby. Now, Colby was introduced in the railway series book Mountain Engines. My favorite Coldy story in that, one of the things that makes me laugh is the story about Godred. You know, so, Godred was our number one. He named after a king, perhaps that went to his smoke box. And then Godred was, so Godred went down and he was careless and then he was, his parts were used to mend the other engines. It scared Sir Handel and Dunk was it Sir Sir Handel and Duncan, but but no, neither Scarloe or Reneus told them Duncan, yeah, Duncan, that Coldy had made the story up. And um that makes me laugh every time I read this. So this model sat in its box for about three years. How did I get it, you may ask? Well, I didn't know who Coldy was for the longest time. I remember when I was really little, in the 2000s decade, seeing the Coldy and the Apple Orchard cars pack in catalogs. Yearbooks, rather. Um, and I didn't know who Coldy was. And um, I just assumed he was from an episode I hadn't seen. Um, then I... I hadn't read the railway series stories about Coldy until I was 17 years old. So, but then I immediately wanted a wooden railway model, and I really regretted not getting this guy back in 2015. And then, um, we went to Day Out with Thomas in 2018. And then my mom got me this guy for my birthday, which was the following year, but she picked him up at Day Out with Thomas. Now, let's get on to the model. Coldy was introduced for the wooden railway range back in 1996 and was released for a few years that model was mainly made out of wood and had little nubs like you'd see on duck or the scottish twins then he was re-released in 2000 and it was made out of mostly wood it had a tiny tiny face and a face that scared turtles and thomas on the back and he he doesn't really like any of the back well i don't know about any but he doesn't he thought the um uh take and play model was the best I honestly don't find either face disturbing. But anyways, he was released in 2005 with some side plates and um, a sloped boiler. It was a bit more plastic on him. Then he was re-released in 2015 and, in my opinion, this model is the compromise between the 2005 and the 1996. Because surprisingly, for a Mattel model, it's mostly made out of wood. Like, look, this part's wood. The smoke box area is almost always plastic. And it still is today on Thomas Wood models. The dome is plastic, funnel face, wheels, but look at all this wood. It's all wood and look at it's detailed, like the painted on him, like quite good. Um, he has his nameplate, he has the face on the back, um, number four. Look at all that detail. This is the best of both worlds. We got detail and it's almost entirely made out of wood. This is one of the best Thomas Wooden Railway... This is the best Thomas Wooden Railway model of Coldy, in my opinion. Now, if you would have asked me before I got this, I would have said the 1996 version. But, my mind has been changed. I think this version. 
Now, I am reviewing this because it's the 75th anniversary of Thomas. And now, I did review the 2020 Etienne model, but not many 2020 wood models are out right now. But however, here's to season 24, and hopefully a good season, under David Stoughton. Now, anyways, thanks for watching.